Hello, this is Dr. Nathan Way, and I'm going to be talking about TNF inhibitors today. TNF stands for Tumor Necrosis Factor. And much of this information comes from the American College of Rheumatology. TNF inhibitors are manufactured proteins that target inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, juvenile arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. These drugs can be used in combination with DMARDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, such as methotrexate, plaquenil, azulfidine, areva, or they can be used by themselves. So, what is TNF? What is tumor necrosis factor? Well, it's a chemical that's produced by the immune system. In normal people, excessive amounts of uh, TNF in the blood are blocked naturally. Unfortunately, in people who have diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, excessive levels of TNF cause inflammation, persistent symptoms of arthritis, joint destruction, and internal organ damage. There are five different TNF inhibitors that have been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. It's important to know that all these uh, anti-TNF drugs need to be refrigerated. In terms of dosing, uh, there are four subcutaneous TNF inhibitors and one intravenous. The subcutaneous drugs are Embrel, which is given 50 milligrams once a week or 25 milligrams twice a week, Humira, 40 milligrams every other week, Simsia, 200 milligrams every other week, Symphony, 50 milligrams once a month, and patients should understand that they, that they have to rotate injection sites when they use the subcutaneous forms of, of TNF inhibitors. And these injection sites can include the thigh, the abdomen, and the buttock. The intravenous form of TNF inhibitor, Remicade, can be administered either in an infusion center or a physician's office, and the infusion generally takes about three hours or so. The starting dose of Remicade is 3 to 5 milligrams per kilogram at weeks 0, 2, and 6, and then 5 to 10 milligrams per kilogram given every 4 to 8 weeks, depending on the patient's situation. A beneficial result should be expected anywhere between 2 and 12 weeks. So let's talk about some side effects. It's very difficult to mention all the potential side effects associated with these drugs. Uh, you can probably go to the internet and uh, go to each uh, uh, manufacturer's website to look for all the tiny print. I'm going to be talking about some of the more common side effects and these include injection site reactions with the subcutaneous drugs, severe allergic reactions occurring with Remicade, an increased incidence of infection, bacterial infection, but particularly tuberculosis and fungal infections. Patients with hepatitis B can have that disease worsen uh, with the use of these drugs. Neurologic disorders can develop uh, and these neurologic disorders often um, are identical um, if not the same as multiple sclerosis. There is a possible increased incidence in lymph of lymphoma and skin cancer although it is difficult to separate the increased incidence of lymphoma from the TNF inhibitors versus the increased incidence of lymphoma that is known to occur as a result of rheumatoid arthritis by itself. Patients can have uh, a possible worsening of heart disease so these drugs should be used with great caution in patients who have underlying congestive heart failure. So that's the TNF inhibitor story, and thanks for watching.